Hello viewers, Mr. Monkey Moto here. Uh, excuse the mess, this is my shop. I got the bike set up. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the spoke guards from Rocky Mountain ATV. So, I got them in black just because eventually I want to paint my rims black. And uh, I kind of want it all to match and thought it would look kind of cool. Um, I see a lot of guys putting different colors. You can get a ton of different colors with these, red blue, green, all that. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you guys are interested, check them out in the description. Um, I'm gonna kind of try and put these on and maybe make a review on well, how to put them on. They're not, they're not too hard. They got a little crack down the side, so you kind of just fit them on, but it is going to take a while, I think, if it's gonna focus. We'll see. No, no. Yeah, so, uh, this one I've actually had to trim just because, uh, <laughs> These are obviously the back spokes, but they're uh, a little bit longer than I need, which is good because if you have longer ones, then um, you're going to need uh, longer longer guards. So, yeah, but uh, I'll show you guys a video of uh, me putting them on, and uh, yeah, I'll talk about it after I'm uh, done putting them all on. Alright guys, so I got the one side done there, and it looks pretty good actually, not too bad. Um, a little bit difficult, more difficult than I thought. I see why a lot of guys actually take the tire off and do it, but uh, yeah, there you go. So I'll come back uh, when I do the other side there too. Hey guys, so I just got these on. They look actually really good. So, uh, my advice to putting the front ones on is, uh, there's two cross members here that each, that one piece fits on. So I would recommend doing the bottom one and then twisting it so that the, the split on the tube isn't directly underneath it. Um, let's see if I can find an example here. Here we go. I don't know if you guys can see or not. But right here, come on, focus. So right here on that under that bottom one here, there's a there's a split. So if you put the split on the other cross member that's directly on top of it, um, it'll look like that. So what you want to do is twist them so that uh, they look clean like that. But uh, these center ones are a lot harder to do. So uh, do your best with them. Um, I would recommend doing the bottom members first and then uh, 
go ahead and do the tops just because the bottoms are a little harder to get to. So uh, yeah, other than that, I really like the looks of these. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to keep them on there for a while. I want to uh, want to paint my rims black, but uh, still haven't found the right paint or uh, anything like that for them. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to look really good in the end though. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys.